Hey there everybody, Milk Knight here, and welcome to the uh, to the uh, Akiva Strip uh, Undead and Undressed. This is the sequel to Hellbed Debriefed. We're about to start up in a moment. We're just, uh, I'm just making sure my audio's synced fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I was just double checking on my phone. Okay, we're going to start now. Oh, that's good. Right, we're going to play something a bit more light-hearted now. I prefer this game more than I do Hellbound and Debriefed, personally, because of the structure and the roots, as well as the cast. I find the cast in this game a bit more memorable compared to the uh, uh, the one from uh, Hellbound and Debriefed, personally. So, <clears throat> I'm going to load up my game. And as you can see here, we have the clear date. So we're going through this on New Game Plus. I'm going to play this on Easy, because I want to play this as fun as possible not too much challenge. So we're going to pick the sister uh, character model and we've called her Masaki as a reference to the sister from, from the uh, Hellbound and Debriefed. We're going to run around with this outfit and we are going to start. I have all the other character models in their uh, alternate colors just because. Um, just to add a bit of variety I suppose. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. Yep, all good to go. Akihabara, or Akiba for short, is town seen at all from Japan's post-war reconstruction to the economic bubblegum crisis of the 80s. Now with the yen soaring above the dollar, deflation hitting the market like a ton of bricks, Akiba has found itself blooming like never before, absorbing a wide variety of cultural influences from every corner of the country and beyond. In essence, it's become a microcosm of modern Japanese society, always on the cutting edge of progress with something little bit to offer fascistic appetites. And I can't read anymore because the text is going way too fast. What is it with these games and the text at the beginning? I can never read them out loud enough or fast enough. It seems to be a running thing. Anyway, I'll let them carry on. Uh, let the text carry on. You'll have to read it at your own leisure or pause, I guess, if you really care about the intro uh, text that much. Even in the first game, the text was pretty fast. Like all the stock footage and stuff they have in this game too. You'll see it quite a bit here and there. And if you fish for gossip, it's what you'll inevitably hear. So all kinds of stuff, basically. There's also a lot of dialogue choices in this game compared to Hellbound and debriefed. There's more branching paths. Also we have the best option ever which is the auto mode which lets us uh, have the text um, automatically uh, go. Which means I don't have to press buttons all the time in dialogue. <laughs> Except for the odd occasion well, when we have well. to interact. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew. 
as a synthester. Yep, we've been strapped to a table. We were going to do a job interview and it's gone horribly wrong. And we were supposed to get rare figurines. Now, now, try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee... Ah, that's you. Does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books per the signee's wishes. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> Give me my figurines. Um, just like in the first game, if you become very materialistic and give in to your desires, it's a game over. Uh, whereas in the first, in Hellbound and Debrief, if you're not cooperative, um, you end up dying. So nobody ever reads the fine print. So you remember then, you sold your soul, your very essence, to us. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeded. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen before. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus asked to leave. There to exist as the hunted, you see. Give me my figurines already. Yeah, we best not pick that. <laughs> no need to look so concerned. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the Synthesters. Synthesters are chosen beings. Superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires, though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born synthesters are just the ones to provide it. Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job, something anyone can do, really. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akiba and absorb their life energy. Don't worry, it won't kill them. I simply wish to borrow that which gives them the will to carry on from day to day. Simply drain their life energy and bring it back to us and your job will be complete. And of course you will be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. As much as you'd like will be yours for the taking. Hmm. You're as foolish as you look, it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. Master Zenya, we have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. 
What's wrong? Th there's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards? That's what happened to them. Can you move? Follow me. We're getting out of here. Subdue the intruder! Now! Yes, my master! Oh, what a bootlicker. I'm gonna hit them with my leak. <laughs> Now is our best chance. Move. Damn you. How dare you make light of us? Do you truly expect me to let you escape so easily? You shielded me? Are you all right? Men, surround them. Whatever you do, don't let them escape. Yes, my master. I'm going for it. Stay close behind me. I think we lost them. Are you all right? Can you still walk? You're injured. This is from when you shielded me, isn't it? You still seem to be in full control. But it won't be long, until that's not the case. Very well, if I have no choice. <clears throat> Back to drinking I'm going to share again. some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please, drink my blood. She's bleeding from the lip. You can't speak, it seems. Are you concerned that I'm bleeding? You're injured far worse than I am. This blood will lead you down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end, your fate is your own to shape. <laughs> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. Among us. Oh yeah, there's the character CG. That's what the default model looks like, by the way. It seems to have taken. And thankfully, your wounds are now healed. My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? that monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town. I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters, these synthesters. Typically, those who are transformed into synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Fortunately, you managed to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. Yep. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a synthester now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. 
Otherwise, your body may dissolve. In a sense, yes. You share their aversion to the sun, at least. Though crosses and garlic won't ward you off. It may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning. Are you up? I'm sorry to ask this first thing in the morning, but do you know of any safe havens in the area? We won't accomplish anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. Shout out to the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Akiba Freedom Fighters? All right then. Will you show me the way? So I've got a couple of emails. You, you get them in the game. Toko, Yuto sent us a message. Kaito. Um, Kari, or Ka Katie, the maid. Uh, Nana. <laughs> Nana's the best in this game, actually. We'll, we'll be meeting her soon enough, actually. Uh, soon enough. She's easily the best sister. Misaki from the first game isn't the greatest. But Nana's way better. She's a lot nicer. X-Bay, which is obviously eBay. We got a out out um, bidded rip. No, no figurine for us. Oh, and this game also has Twitter or Pitter as well. The way Pitter works is you just scroll down the down the thread, essentially. Everyone actually has proper avatars too, as well, by the looks of it. So people are just talking about disappearances and stuff right now. Mainly Otaku being disappearing. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let me try something. Mm -hmm. Don't know if it works. Mm, don't see it. No, there's a f there's a feature that lets the stream stream chat act as uh, dialogue bubbles for the NPCs, but um, it doesn't look like it's a thing in the PC version. It might be more of a console version. Now that I think about it. Hello. That was an interesting feature for a while, actually. Quite a couple of games had that whole the chat can interact kind of thing. Let me double check the options real fast. I don't know if it's actually on here. User interface, map UI. No, it doesn't look like it. It would be in the display section. I guess the PC version doesn't have that capability. Oh well, it's one smaller difference. How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. 
That's right. And if they find you, they're going to attack on sight. Of course, there are bound to be those who won't. But I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> they're here. It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her, too! Let's smush them both! They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. I don't think that's necessary. In fact, the police would only get in our way. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it, too, by now. The power to fight awakening within you. Come, join me in this battle. There we go. Another fight coming up. Get a bit of money in their objects or items. The items will be good for later on. <sighs> we won. Hmm, who's that? There she is. <laughs> Broski, you're alive! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? Saved your life. Oh, I see. I see. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. <laughs> yeah, sure. I like Nana too much to even, like put any snarky comment down to her. Is it to your liking, my lady? I'm happy now. Thanks, protagonist. Protagonist, I love that. I'll let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. Oh yeah, that face. The other Freedom Fighters have been really worried about you, too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Sick burn. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in, such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. Your little sister is certainly... unique. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Yeah, she does look confused when she's not talking. Nana's great. She only has, like, so many appearances in the story. There's an actual ending with her, but, like, we'll get onto that another time. You have to do, like, six missions in order to get her ending. 
and getting the ending is a pain. It takes, especially the last two missions, they're pretty hard to do. To do. I think one has to do with a cake, and you don't want to smoosh the cake up by bumping into someone or something. I think it's, yeah, it's, you have to walk a certain speed as well. It, it can definitely be a, a tough mission. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, the walking animation. There's a lot of animations in this game that you'll get a good kick out of. Okay, we're at Mogra. The uh, Akiba Freedom Fighters base. It's the best base ever. It's better than the first game's base, trust me. It looks really cool. There's like manga, there's an arcade machine. The bar looks kind of uh, modernized as well. It doesn't look super vintage. Is this Mogra? Welcome back, Master! Oh! Is it really you? You've been gone for three whole days, man. Where you been? Ah, oh, Pops. The hell were you thinking disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped! And what's with the high-quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. Kaito is kind of like... Uh, he's a bit like Nobu, but he's not as obnoxious compared to Nobu. He does the whole I like 2D girls thing a lot, but it's not as bad as what Nobu is in the first game. Nobu really, really got on my nerves towards the end of the game. He was very obnoxious, but Kaito isn't too bad. He's also got a brother called Yuito, or Yuto. Uh, Yuto is more grounded and uh, less shut in, like, he's more sociable of the two, I guess you could say. <laughs> We're dating, more. Now, now, we both know that ain't true. If you're gonna lie, at least make it believable. <laughs> oh, I had to. Pops is amazing, though. He has some sick burns sometimes. You serious? Man, I never would have guessed all those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true! Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There have been like a million clips about it! People getting kidnapped and turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals! Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states... It's because they've been attacked by these... synthesters? I'm afraid so. I think I understand! This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? That would be fiction, Kati. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Oh, Toko. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. The childhood friend. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So why the cookie crumbles? So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right! And I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. <laughs> Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? Oof. You shut up! 
You shut up and you die. Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikkonen. I blew on in from Finland to Jipang so I could see and do its cool busy culture. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. <laughs> He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> Oh, God. Hey. Oh, I forgot about that line. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. The FBI's must have Could have said that list. sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me yeah. by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll need her then. You probably figured that who that so, is by now. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciency tests run on him. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Oh, thanks, Kaiser. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I mean, if he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Let me catch up on my anime. Well, no, we'll um, look into the synthesis. Yeah, that's a good call. And we should start by checking out the place where you interviewed. If we were to find clues anywhere, that would be the most obvious spot. Hmm. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Togikaze, would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed. Yeah, it's out of her No kidding. Well. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. So yeah. If you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. All right. Okay then, perfect. Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Um, well... Hmm. Sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. Seriously? So you're an honest-to-goodness, real-life runaway? All mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly, and I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Hmm. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pops, you know, 
the upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. What do you say, Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. That's true. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Omb! But wait. I haven't agreed to anything. Congrats, Freedom Fighter. <sighs> all right. Just for a little while, though. Thank you for having me. Okay, so here we freedom fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. You said you fought some of these things already, but aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? Forged in the fires of Toko's wrath. I never meant to forge anything. You just mean we fight so often you happen to get something out of it, right? I'm not sure I'd even call those fights. They seem to be more like tests of endurance to me. Huh? What was that? N nothing. Nothing at all. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. For real? What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? Just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. Yeah, and it's not who But you she it doesn't is. let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. I'll give her a call and let her know what's up. So you better get going. Oh, and take Shizuku with you, too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? I think Toko should go with... She can probably force her way in there, no problem. Test be damned. That's fine. Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Seriously, rude much? It's not a bad idea, though. So whom will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? Right, we get three options. Um, you can either go with Caddy, which is like a neutral option. We're going to be doing Root Shizuku first, because it's... I find it to be the most canonical um, out of all the routes. We're going to go in order. We're going to go Shizuku. Uh, we'll do the Toko route, then Renz, and then I think, is it Shion that's the last one? Because there's only four endings. If you don't include the sister ending, which I'll save that as like cliff notes for the end. But for the time being, it's going to be route Shizuku for this stream. All right. If I'm going to eliminate them, the Synthesters, then I'll have to be as strong as I can. The battle arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Junk Street. You got that? And when I do the other routes as well, and I get to the options and stuff, and I pick the options, I'll make sure I'll keep the dialogue going for those. But at the beginning and whatnot, I'll probably skip all of that, because let's be honest, you'll have seen the uh, opening like four times. Let's go. Knock him dead! And there we go, it's the beginning of the, uh... I've come into the most best place ever. I love this place. You got what looks like a Street Fighter clone on the screen. Lots of manga that's there. You can't read any of it, sadly. Nice little, like, DJ booth, I guess. Kinda wish you could pick different music, yeah. But kinda neat. There's an arcade machine you can play later on here, but we need to get... Uh, we need to go further with the story in order to do that. Let's quickly check our email. 
Everybody's worried about you. If you should come back to base, don't stop off anywhere else, not even to pee. <laughs> Eagerly brave warriors. That's from Antoinette, who's running the uh, arena. Which is a bit of a shame that the, the master wasn't running it. in this game. It would have been nice to tie it in with the first one, but it's a bit different. Nobody asked you, goddamn trap. Lol. So yeah, talk about food. Canned Odin was mentioned in Akaba's most popular food product not too long ago. Probably just for tourists though, I bet there are lots of locals who haven't tried it. Let's do a canned Udon eat off. Everyone just passes on him, the poor guy is like, oh okay. Oh man. Pizza's full of dicks by the looks of it. I'm going to be bumping into people because they just get in the way. Whoa, cam camera angle went weird then. Felt like I was playing all Resident Evil for a minute. Yeah, you can see what people are synthesters, just with the camera. The camera's already kind of uh, given to me because it's New Game Plus. But in the first playthrough, or the first run anyway, you uh, people will just look like that, and they won't flicker. Unlike that guy who's flickering. Okay, here we are, the battle arena. Well now, it's rare to get customers at this hour. Hmm? Oh, you must be the boy Pops was telling me about. She sounds you a little bit like You look rather ordinary to me. But perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the manager of this establishment. You may call me Antoinette. While I don't own the arena, the one who does is presently on a journey, so I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? This facility exists to help one achieve his or her full potential. It is a place where rivals cultivate each other's growth. Those who win do receive reward money, but the true reward is the experience itself. That's actually true. However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must first prove yourself worthy. I will now test that worth, if I may. Are you ready? Ready. I will be assisting him. As you wish. Please, step into the ring. Good luck. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, Antoinette's mo mouth doesn't move. I wonder what the reason is for that. There's probably no real reason for it. Anyway, what? let's go. <laughs> yeah. Screw with me! Hey, hey, 
that was pretty easy. Well done. Though considering who sent you here, I shouldn't be surprised. And you, you were simply amazing. So much so that I'm tempted to scout you. Much obliged. Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena any time you wish. Please make this Colosseum roar with the flames of your passion. This seems like a good place to train. I'm sure we'll be back. But for now, let's return to Mogra. So, yeah, there's more rounds to do in the Colosseum later on. They're all down to letter ranking, I think. Which is kind of neat. You get like a prize for doing the top tier ranking. You need to play the game on the highest difficulty if you want to face the arena. I only think Antoinette's only fightable when you've got the difficulty turned up max. That's not going to be happening because I don't have it on hard, but it's fine. Even then, you have to like fight her multiple times. Uh, to even get her clothing, because her clothing will just rip, I believe, every time you try to strip. You need to level up the clothing knowledge that she has to eventually strip the clothing off of her. Or if you're super lazy and you don't care about that, just play in toy box mode, <laughs> then you don't have to grind. But I don't really see the point of toy box mode, it's kind of eh. You're playing the game with all of the stuff unlocked in the beginning. I mean, it's fine if you just want to customize the char your character right from the get-go and accessorize them, but some people like grinding and mastering each outfit by facing different opponents. I mean, it, to a, in a sense, to me, it feels like I've earned it, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, there's a song playing. Can I see the advert for it? I think this is it. Uh. Yeah, it's this... Actually, no, it doesn't fit. Whoa! It might be just be radio. <coughs> Actually, no, isn't it from the theme? The theme for the shop? Hold on. I feel like it is. Yes, it is. This is what players when you go to the store. Yeah, a lot of the themes in the shops are rather, rather catchy. I'm trying to keep an eye out for a game that shows up on one of the screens. Really? It looks like a Breath of the Wild clone before Breath of the Wild. I don't think it's Conception though. Conception's a good series, by the way. I should play the first one and second one eventually. It's basically Pokemon. But with, like, star children that, like, you make based on whatever waifu you hey, have uh, welcome back. partnered with so your how'd character. how'd it go? That Antoinette's a bit of an odd one, ain't she? There's also like a dungeon. She's not a bad person clearing, to know, uh, though. Next time you see her, give her my up. regards. Anyway, I got a question for you. When you were walking down Junk Street, you saw some suspicious people milling about, right? If you got some energy to spare, I'd like you and Shizuku to head back there and scope the place out. Yeah, but I'm going to have food. Man, you that hungry? I sent Toko out chopping, er, shopping. Chopping. Not some few minutes ago. Is there any food you want to add to the list? Get it, got it, good. I'll call her and let her know. Okay. We're off to patrol Junk Street. We'll be back soon. Okie dokie. Go get them, but be careful. Off to 
Junk Street we go. Another location from last game is Junk Street. Oh, that was Disgaea, wasn't it? Are I just noticed the suspicious that. people Pop spoke of? The hell's your problem? What do you think you're looking at? You here to start something? I'll make mitts meat out of you both! They're synthesters. I can sense it. I'm afraid yeah. we have no choice but to defeat them. There don't seem to be any more of them. Let's head back and report. And yeah, this is another reason why I like this game. You can just access the map with one button. Whereas in the previous, well, the game beforehand, I had to like leave the area. I mean, there's times where you've got to go in an unexplored area, but it's not too bad otherwise. Welcome back! Oh, hey, got your order right here. A whole family of beef bowls. One, two, and three. Of course, of course. But you know, it's not easy to bike all this way with a stack of beef bowls swimming in sauce. So, uh, guys, you know we serve food here too, right? Might be nice if you order from us every now and again, or at all. <laughs> but Pops... This bar? Well, the coffee is delicious, but the food items are not so delicious. Ooh, that stings me right in the old ticker. You're an employee here, you know? Don't it bother you to tell me our food sucks? I have to say, though, your food order is quite a bit bigger than usual. And that might just be the understatement of the century. Your food order is monstrous, man. Like eating contest world championship monstrous. All you've done is eat lately. Could this be a side effect of his transformation into a synthester? Most likely. Those who are transformed typically attack humans and feed on their vitality. But that's not the case here. It seems he can still sate his hunger with food as long as he eats enough of it. Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. So, hurt by sunlight and always hungry? That sounds very rough. Doesn't it seem kind of weird, though? I mean, if every other Synthester attacks people, why doesn't he? What makes him different? Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Since you're going to be fighting monsters from here on out, I came up with a few support plans for you, so to speak. You too, if you would. Right. Can I see your phone for a bit? Now, where was that again? Oh, here we go. Set the login info and done. All right, so what I've done is I've installed an app on your phone that lets us freedom fighters read and accept requests for help gathered from locals. The icon that launches it is on your home screen under the name Side Missions, so feel free to try it out at your convenience. Basically, the idea is... I'll take it from here. The idea is, you got a lot riding on this whole fight with the Synthesters. And, well, you kinda suck at sports. You've barely ever fought a real battle. And you got nothing under your belt but some Colosseum fighting. 
My point is, you want to have an advantage against the Synthesters? You got to network. You got to reach out and touch people in the niceties, getting to know what makes them tick and why it's worth saving them from these monsters. So I'm going to gather up requests and send them over through that app and leave the rest in your hands. Up to you which ones you want to tackle. It's all in Akiba either way, so you should be able to knock out most of them during your patrols. And speaking of patrols, we're going to head out on ours. We'll take the area around the station. You'll take the side streets. Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Anyway, if you find anything, be sure to report back on it pronto. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. We wouldn't have it any other way. Akiba belongs to the people, you know? Whatever we can protect, we will. That's what being a freedom fighter is all about. Yeah, right on, Pops! Way to man up! I am neither impressed nor inspired. We meet again, person accompanying Brotaku. <laughs> Enter the sister! Oh, there she is again. So, like we were saying before, there's one more person in our group who's kind of a secret character. She also found herself living in the shop, though in her case it's because she's kind of a hermit. Her room's the one back behind the bar. Um, my name is Shizuku Tokikaze. The Freedom Fighters have been a great help to me. It's nice to meet you. I know who you are. I was eavesdropping from behind the bar counter. And it's nice-ish to meet you, too. I don't recall asking for a lecture, Professor. <laughs> Dealing with you 3DPD people drains my energy, so I'm going to go now. But there's something I want to discuss with you, Broccoli. So come to my room later. Broccoli. Like brother, like sister, huh? Yeah, but at least there was a time when she had everything together. Not so much for her brother. The little sister is very good with her hands, you know. She can make all kinds of clothing. All of the protective gear used by the Freedom Fighters is a product of her demon arts. If you have problems with your outfit, all you have to do is speak with the little sister, and they will be solved like magic. Uh, so, hey, not to interrupt, but patrols, anyone? We'll be out around the station. See ya. You should go speak with your little sister. Don't worry. I'll wait here for you until you're done. Matt's gone soon now, now. We have to go and uh, talk to her with her little tutorial on making our equipment better. I've also got an email. Indian to the right. Curry coming soon. Advertisement for curry. Go, go, curry's in this game, by the way. The one with the uh, gorilla logo. What I wanted to talk to you about is as follows. Mission, save your little sister. Your little sister is in trouble, and it's Protector's sacred duty to help ease her worries. I've registered the exact details of what I'd like you to do in the submission app on your smartphone. And so, I leave the rest in your capable hands. So we have to go and do her little side mission. There's six of these to do. We're not doing them in this route. We'll probably end up doing them in a fresh route. And focus just on Nana particularly, because you get an ending for it. Rather than do it during a route, because it wouldn't make sense, because the game just abruptly ends <laughs> after doing like the sixth mission. So Anyway, we've got a request from her. And we're gonna go and get a book. Or is it a sewing kit? It's a sewing kit. It's currently not a book. My bad. Either way, go and pick pick up thing for sister, regardless.
So I'm going to go do that now. Right, dude dressed in red and blue, I believe we have to speak to. Oh, I didn't accept it, my bad. I've got to refresh the area. Give me a minute. Okay, here he is. Um, uh, here. <laughs> Cosplay so next sewing. Time. Okay, back to sister and to give her the item that she wanted. Hey, go, go, curry. There we go. You guys just got to see it. Thank you. Confirmed that the quest I sent you on has been successfully completed. Nicely done, program. As a reward of sorts, I will now allow you to make use of my talents to enhance your protective gear, by which I mean your clothes and makeshift weapons. Though I will ask for some small monetary compensation, of course. Right, time to do synthesis. In which case we get to fuse weapons or clothing. In this case, um, I will focus more on my clothing actually. Which is lowest. Uh, the hot pants need uh, upgrading. This is how you upgrade stuff in this game, by the way. It's a simple system, but it works. I prefer this definitely over the tungsten system of, or whatever it was <laughs> in the last game, which felt a bit there. Eh. I, mean, I still don't understand how that system works. Something to do with selling stuff than going to the junk store, I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Half the time it felt like it randomly just showed up, which, you know. It's never a good thing. As you can see, I've got stuff from other runs of this game. Better durability now. Since you have to go out on patrol now, I'll end our talk here. Have you finished talking with your sister? We should go then. We mustn't allow the Synthesters to claim any more victims than they already have. To the side streets we go. Can you feel it too? Someone is shadowing us. Synthesters? Or perhaps... <gasps> We're surrounded. 
Well, they're not friendly. I don't know who we're dealing with. But I believe they must have some connection to the organization. If we strip their clothes, we'll know for sure. Let's go. Yes, you can heal your clothing during combat now. Whereas before you had to put your weapon away and then hold the button down. In this case, not the case. Or in this game, not the case. You can just heal during battle, which is infinitely way better. Much more uh, accessible that way. We won. Somehow. But I don't understand. Our attackers didn't seem to be synthesters at all. <gasps> Who's there? Oh, look, it's Xion. Another one that we'll be doing the route with eventually. Bravo. Absolutely marvelous. Why, your physical prowess is simply staggering. One of the organization's executives, I fear. Who are you? Before I answer that, please accept my apologies. The men you stripped just now are my subordinates. I'm very sorry if they took you by surprise. <sighs> my name is Xion Kasugai. I'm the CEO, the president of Daishihan Pharmaceuticals. The president of a drug conglomerate? What could you possibly want with us? This town, Akiba, has hosted many strange happenings of late, wouldn't you agree? So many reports of random attacks, their victims left in inexplicable lethargy. But who are these attackers? Is there a roving gang of degenerates on the loose? Or is there something more to this? I simply must know. So you're investigating the Synthesters? Oh, Synthesters, you say? Is that what the perpetrators are calling themselves? Damn. <laughs> if you know the proper term for them, well, how to put this delicately, you're clearly involved. Better, better, I'm Pitter. How odd. I've dug through Pitter rather extensively myself, and never once did the term Synthester appear anywhere. What is it you want? I've been looking into these incidents privately for some time, but I've always come back empty-handed, until just recently. You see, by pure chance, I happened to catch wind of some local gossip. Would you believe a strange boy-girl duo has been running around Akiba, tearing people's clothes off in broad daylight? Such perversion! We're not perverts, and we're not doing this for our own amusement either. Oh, please don't misunderstand. It's not what you do that intrigues me. It's the results. You see, when these two people expose their victim's flesh, witnesses claim that flesh suffers some kind of massive sunburn all at once. Strange, isn't it? Now, of course, one might lay the blame on global warming or some such, but... How could the same sunlight we're standing in now burn a man so quickly? And that, in turn, leads me to ask, what reason might you have for fighting these so-called synthisters in the first place? <sighs> first things first, of course, I had to confirm your involvement, hence my little test, uncouth as it was. And now I've seen your strength, your speed, your endurance. Simply put, you can't possibly be human. 
<sighs> Your panic is adorable, but entirely unnecessary. I'm not here to stand against you, but rather to offer my help. In short, I want a sample, a specimen of these synthesters. If I can get my hands on one, I can analyze its composition and learn what makes it tick. And who knows? That sort of information could be of use to you as well. Here's my card. If there's anything you'd like to discuss, please don't hesitate to contact me. I do look forward to meeting you both again. Particularly you, little boy. You're quite the handsome little devil. <laughs> So we're under surveillance, then. What's your impression of that woman? I agree. At any rate, we should return to Mogra and discuss this with the others. Let's head back to Mogra. Oh, look at that PC. We're back. Oh, hey, so are you. Found nothing to speak of, I take it? Glad you made it back in one piece. But what happened to Kaito? You know how it is with him. Once the patrol's over, it's straight off to the anime shops to hunt for rare goods. There's no stopping that dork. Ah, uh, okay. Well quieter without him around anyway, so I say let him have his fun. But since you're back at least, we got ourselves a little problem. Here. What's this? A business card? Daishihan Pharmaceuticals, CEO Shion Kasugai. She's been following us. What? We were attacked by her subordinates. According to her, it was a test of our abilities. What the hell? Are you telling me this, um, Shion Kasugai person is on the monster side? She doesn't appear to be part of the organization, no. It seems she's simply taken an interest in the Synthesters. Wait, so does she know you are one? It was rather obvious. As I said, you're a far finer physical specimen than any ordinary human. <laughs> Teehee. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Teehee. Oh, no need for those faces. I left the henchman back at the office this time. Hold up a sec. You here as a customer, pretty lady? Or did you come here on business? <laughs> Let's just say I'm hoping to make friends, or acquaintances at the very least. So, a customer then. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Welcome to Game Bar Mogra. What do you have? Well, it's a bit early in the day for sake, so perhaps I'll sample a bit of this tea. Iced, please. Coming right up. Why are you here exactly? <laughs> I come bearing gifts. Well, one gift, but I think you'll appreciate it. Might I take your picture with my phone, little boy? Much obliged. All right, hold still. There we are. What's going on? You're all staticky, but everything around you is crystal clear. And this is where we come into the camera mechanic. It's a photo app I put together, based on the results of my research and analysis so far. It's still in early alpha, but it works. You see, synthesters give off a slight glow of sorts that's invisible to the naked eye. But as I learned from the data I gathered, if you're able to see the UV spectrum, it looks like a wavy distortion in the surrounding light. To tell you the truth, I couldn't have made this breakthrough without you. You see, when I sicked my subordinates on you, I, um, I had one of them grab a hair from your head. So you really did know he was a synthester from the very start, then? That was my hypothesis, yes. And now it's confirmed. 
much. In any case, if you make use of this app, you'll be able to distinguish between synthesters and ordinary humans easily. Okay, so why not just give everybody the app for free? It'd cut down on the number of victims, don't you think? Well, I had considered that, yes, but for one thing, the app has a very short range. You can only see the distortion if they're very close by. If we encouraged everyone to get closer to the synthesters, we'd only be exposing them to danger. It's putting the cart before the horse. Remember also, the general public isn't truly aware of their existence yet. Introduce an app like this into the environment we have now, and suddenly, everyone wants a piece of the pie. And then, ugh, nothing but headaches. Hmm. Wait, Shizuku. You said before you were able to tell synthesters from regular people, right? How do you do it? Is there some kind of giveaway or something? My case is a bit special. I can simply sense them. And that's where I come in. If you use my app, you won't need to rely on one single person's senses to spot the enemy anymore. What are you after? I already told you. I'm simply interested in the synthesters themselves. There's some kind of nefarious organization pulling the strings behind the scenes, actively striving to create disorder in this town. And I want to know what we're dealing with. I want to know what manner of creature these things are. And what this secret organization is planning to do with them. <sighs> they must be the ones responsible for your condition as well, are they not? They're hunting for something. But you refused to be a part of it, didn't you? You rejected them and fled. Why is that? No, oh, that's quite a brave and noble sentiment. At any rate, this has been a most enlightening conversation. My app is yours to use as you wish, and I do hope you'll put it through its paces. Ah, but look at the time. I'm afraid I'll have to cancel my tea order. Huh? But it's just about done. You gonna pay for it at least? Oh, of course. You may keep the change as well. A 10,000 yen bill? Man, you management types sure don't mess around. Hey, I know that ringtone. It's one of Lynn's songs, right? Of course. She sings for our company as a mascot idol. Oh, yeah. Like in that TV commercial for your guys' cold medicine, right? Yes. And she has a little surprise performance in store for everyone today. Not long from now, in fact. What? Seriously? You wouldn't happen to know where, would you? At the plaza outside the Bella Hall Assembly Hall, if memory serves. <gasps> we should totally go. Shizuku, what do you think? Do you want to come with? I'll... pass. Oh, okay. Well, then the two of us will go. We'll patrol the area, test out the camera app, and catch the street show all at once. Three birds with one stone. On that note, it's time I take my leave. Until we meet again. <laughs> Come back anytime. That woman is hiding something. Ugh! Sheesh. No matter how many times you skulk out of that room of yours, it scares the crap out of me. Adults can't be trusted to begin with. But her, she's definitely keeping secrets. You saying you can't trust me either? Don't worry, you're still one of the cool kids. Kids, huh? Not sure how I feel about that. Come on, we don't want to miss the show. Bella Hall Plaza. It's just northwest off of Main Street. Yes, the way Toko comes with us. Let's quickly check our email. Email address for Xion so she can keep in contact with us. Oh, look, it's Ren. She's kind of like an idol in this game. DBP is basically one person in this game.
straight up stealth marketing. Traps just shut the hell up. <laughs> Have fun, fucking weeds. That's brilliant. Oh yeah, Toko's got red hair. Damn, I forgot how tall she actually is. Might be actually just because of our character model though. Actually, what advert's being played? It's not the one I'm thinking of, is it? Akiba Pop. No, it's not the one I'm thinking of. We will find it with that game. That had like the horseback riding on it. It'll show up eventually. And there's Ren in her uh, alternate colors. Hmm. Huh. Sure are a lot of people here. I wonder if Ren's appearance got leaked or something. I mean, there's always a lot of people here, but a good chunk of this crowd looks to be of the die-hard fan variety. Well, she's a pop idol, so yeah. But it's more than that. She's got real attitude. No holding back, no sucking up, and no regrets. That's a nice breath of fresh air on the idol scene. Of all the solo idols to hit the Akiba scene lately, Rin's the top-rated one, bar none. Her debut tour couldn't have gone better either. She's a national celebrity now, and I approve because she's awesome. Still, this is a pretty big crowd. I wonder if the cops are going to show up. With this many people around, it wouldn't be hard at all for Synthesters to slip right in. Oh, how about we try out Kasugai's app? Seems like the perfect opportunity. If there are any synthesters here, they should be all distorted and staticky once we take their picture. Here, let me see your phone. Okay, where's the camera app? Ah, here we go. So, I just pick my target, press the button, and a presto. Just like a digital camera, huh? And that's all it takes to see if someone's a normal person or a synthester. I'm usually pretty clueless about technology, but this is so simple even I can do it. Hey, check it out. They look pretty suspicious, right? All dressed to the nines in this heat. Come on, you try. Take their picture. But act casual about it, okay? Act Don't call casual. attention to yourself. Totally look casual. Ah, we got a hit. That's amazing. They're actually synthesters. That's just what I was thinking. Guess there's a reason we've been friends our whole lives, huh? If this is the wrong call, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But I want to help take these creeps down. Rinchan! I can't believe it. The rumors on Pitter were true. Did you miss me, my dear little sheeplings? Our time is short, so I'll spare you the preamble and just borrow your ears. All I ask is five minutes of your time to present my newest song, Eternity of Earth. I can't remember now, did we sit through the performance or not? Crap, she started already. No, I guess we don't get to hear Guess it. we'd better wrap up this fight on the double. I actually can't remember if there's any performances in this game. Unlike DBP who did Vanity Vamp, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go! Yeah. 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 
picking up any stuff that's been dropped. on was there a fight damn this isn't good i mean we won and all but we really don't need this attention thank you for being here with me today everyone even if i did over excite a few of you <laughs> i'll have more surprise shows in the future your adoration is always welcome oh, oh my god she's so Rinchon, I love you! Yeah! So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until we meet again, my dear little sheeplings. <sighs> Ooh, she was definitely looking right at us. Huh? Why would she be into me? Anyway, we need to pull ourselves together. No harm done. Let's just head back to Mogra. We should let the others know that the app actually did come in handy. Hmm? Speak of the devil, I just got an email from Pops. Kati's headed your way to do some shopping. Meet her along the side streets if you can. Well, I'm headed back to Mogra. But you can meet up with her and help her carry stuff. Have fun! Seems good. Right, off to the side streets we go. Alright, sorry to keep you awaiting. We are on a shopping mission from Pops. Let's finish it with haste. I think we can find all of the things right around here at Akibao. Okay, I'll go get everything and be right out. Oh, wait. Did you want to buy something, too? Your eyes are like a hunter's on the prowl. Did you spot some rare goods, perhaps? Ooh, that's very cool. Oh, but please consult with your wallet first. You might be in real trouble if you don't. That's true. I like Cardi. It's a shame you can't get an ending with her. A bit like Sara from the first game. Really. Um, we need this, and this, and this. Yes, I think the shopping list from Pops is now complete. And the weather is still so nice. Let's go through UD Plus on our way back and take in the sights. Right, UD Plus we uh, head over to now. I'm sorry to ask you for your help on such a day, since I know you're so sensitive to the sunlight. Ooh, that sounds like a very heroic thing to say. It makes you sound so dependable. Hmm. What? Maybe I'm just imagining things. But I feel like that man has been staring at us since we got here. He is not a friend, is he? Maybe he's a synthister. Hmm? Oh, my apologies. I have no business with you, rest assured. I was simply watching the city. 
Are you sightseeing? Something like that. I'm rather akin to a stranger in a strange land here. And truly, this is a strange land. Everyone is hurrying off to some distant goal, as if being pushed along by unseen hands. What is it about this town that fascinates them all so, I wonder? This city spawns all sorts of crazy excitement. And that excitement is owned by everyone and can be enjoyed freely by everyone. So much that the world takes notice. So it's a comfortable place then. An inviting Eden. Hmm. But you two aren't like the others. You're different somehow. How oddly intriguing. Ah, but where are my manners? I don't mean to keep you with my ramblings. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. What was that about? If he spoke only of you, I could understand. But he addressed me too when he called us odd. He is truly, truly a man with a mysterious air about him, don't you think? In many Animan games, he would surely hold some vital clue to aid us in our quest. I feel he may be important. But that's such a silly notion that I will simply toss it away. We should hurry back. If we take too long, Pops will enter Fury Mode. Fury Mode. That's hilarious. Yeah, Caddy just like froze out <laughs> gaming jargon quite often. Emergency summon. Oh, that's one of Nana's missions. We're not doing those missions, actually. Because, like I said, there's no point doing them until we do the route itself. Pani Pani Brotherhood. Special exhibition. Oh, the gallery. I hate the, that place so freaking much. There's a reason why, because there's a woman that stands outside of it who tries to sell you something, and she's really obnoxious. And it's always something overpriced she tries to sell you. Funnily enough, I think one of the items you can buy is actually a unique weapon, but I don't like the attack animations for it. We have returned! Hey, welcome back. Thanks for all your help. Hate to ask this of you before you even get a chance to sit down, but you mind going back out on patrol for a bit? We've taken down a good number of synthesters, but it just doesn't seem to be helping. We still see reports of new victims. And there seem to be more of them, not less. Guess there really is only so much our little group can do. And we can't exactly go to the police with this either. No kidding. We'd have no choice but to turn player character in if we did that, given his connection to everything. Not gonna happen. A true hero doesn't go run into the state for help. At least, not in my book he don't. We gotta stick to our guns and do what we can all by our lonesomes. All right, so let's pick partners then. Who's with whom? She's a coup, because it's root she's a coup. Isn't it? Understood. Let's go. We'll take the area around the station. You two take Junk Street. Make sure you come back in one piece. I'm not sensing any synthesters here, but I am getting a feel for the town. Is it always so boisterous? I think I actually kind of like it. The place where I was raised was deep in the countryside, 
away from everything. Huh. I'm not quite sure how to say this. But even though there are other lively towns all throughout Japan, I get the feeling there aren't many others quite like Akihabara. The fact that such a place can even exist, it's almost divine in nature, as if all this were brought together by a god. <laughs> there. The group of people over by that bargain sale. They're synthesters. Come on. You. You're synthesters hunters! Worthless scum, how can you stand against our glorious vision? We've been promised S-rank rare goods for defeating you, so now you die in the name of limited edition strippers and figure variants! Man, these guys have definitely choked her. Are you all right? You're not injured, are you? It looks like we have a new problem. The organization is aware of us. They know we're hunting synthesters. I fear this fight is about to get much more unpleasant. We should return to Mogra. Looks like everybody's here. So let's get this strategy meeting underway. Chief, I'd like to point out that our primary person of interest has just fallen asleep on us. <laughs> Damn it! Wake the hell up! Well, that did the trick. You sure weren't sleeping too well, though, judging by all that noise you were making. Are you okay? You must be exhausted. Well, okay. Never mind why you were sleeping. What worries me is, don't you think you've been pushing yourself way too hard out there? Like, what are you fighting so hard for? It's not just obligation, and I don't think it's even revenge. I've had that same question. You were never one to stick your neck where it didn't belong. But now you dive right in head first every time, whether or not you can see the water. You think maybe... Maybe you were really a hero inside this whole time, and you just had to get stronger before you could show it. I mean, you are kickboxing with vampires, you know? That takes guts. I see. Well, just remember this. You may be a lot of things, but alone isn't one of them. That's right. Taking everything on all by yourself really doesn't suit you. 
Even if you just need some moral support, we'll always be here for you. We'll even listen to you rant if that's what you need. And we'll always give you our best advice. Although, don't ask Kaito's advice about girls. <laughs> what? Why? I know all the right dialogue options for every dating sim there is. Anyway, can we move on? I hate that this whole ordeal's been all about you. I went in on the glory. And the truth comes out. <laughs> all right, all right already. I like Kaito. Jeez. It's not as bad as... Let's nobody. just focus on the synthesters, okay? There ain't been no reports about any of this in the mass media. So the average Akiba citizen probably has no clue anything's up. The subject has been broached on Pitter every now and again, but it generally gets dismissed as bogus by everyone else, and then that's the end of it. We should find some way of letting people know about the danger they're in. Right even if it's nothing moment. quite as large scale as a news report. I agree. We need to get the word out to avoid the roads less traveled and keep out of dimly lit parts of town even during the day. Oh, yes! I know! How about we have somebody famous spread our warning? Hey! That's not a bad idea. Like, if we could get Rin to tell people, we'd be set. Especially if she told it to people during her live tour. That would definitely get the message across. What do you think, Shizuku? I... Um... Uh, I'm going out for a bit. Huh? Wait! Man, she's fast. Something got her flustered in a hurry. Is she one of those anti-Rin buzzkills or something? Now that you mention it, she seemed kind of distant when we were heading off to Rin's street show, too. I have returned. Um, we're gonna have to go after her. So I'm guessing this is a bit yeah, where she's Yeah, me too. Out. Come on, let's all split up and look for her. I'll check Main Street, you head to the side streets. Don't worry, we'll find her. Oh yeah, we've got like, emails and pedal posts to deal with. Indian to the ride has been cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. That's unfortunate. Unknown email telling us to stop investigating. We're not going to. Rin's concert was got here. As if I go to such a shit concert, lol. Everyone knows something. Today is what the fuck. Fight on Junk Street, no picks. If you didn't see it, why well, start a thread about it?
at the mom who cosplays mission. I forgot about that mission. I, uh, needed some fresh air. It was stuffy in there, so I decided to go on patrol. It has nothing to do with Rin. I don't hate her. Truly, I don't. <laughs> Look out. Well, well. It's been some time since the useless dullards in my employ reported back to me, so I thought I might come check on them. And whom should I find? It's you. Let's not waste any more of my time. You're not worth it. You're not worth much of anything, in fact. Not only did you escape from my facility, but you have the audacity to mobilize against us. Even disposing of trash takes time and effort, you know. And my time is immeasurably more valuable than yours. Still, perhaps it's fate that we've met here. Oh, Perhaps so, yeah. I should thank you for giving me this opportunity to send you on your way to the next life. That's enough. Hmm. I let you get away before, but you're not going anywhere this time. Know the name of your executioner. I, Zenya Amo, shall defeat you, and with that victory, my level will rise. Be careful. He's much stronger than any of the others we fought. He's one of those boss fights where you can't damage him much. It's you. Your spot. child's play is no match for the likes of me. <laughs> I am the chosen one. My existence far exceeds that of any mob characters you've faced thus far. Now the time for fun and games has ended. Behold my true power! Oh. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, look, it's Rin. Uh. Who? What? Rin? Why are you here? Uh. Hmm. 
It seems our little dance has been rather rudely interrupted. Of course, you aren't worthy opponents for me in the first place. I suppose my pitiful subordinates are better suited to garbage duty after all. Best of luck in your futile struggle. So, you're not gonna stop on my account then? <sighs> I told you, didn't I? Not to involve yourself? Just know that if you get in my way, I won't hesitate to move you out of it by force. Wait, I... Rin. I'm sorry. I'll tell you all about it when the time is right. For now, let's please return to Mogra. Wow. So that Amo guy from the organization really puts you through the grinder, huh? Are you okay, Shizuku? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. <sighs> oh, it's the sister. I heard you almost got killed, Brotato. Brotato? What? No, he wasn't almost killed. I mean, he got injured, but it's not like... You can go wherever you want, and do whatever you want, and I won't interfere. But if you ever make your adorable little sister worry about you like that again, you'd better watch your back. I'm very sorry. This whole incident was my fault. Don't waste your time apologizing. Use that energy to help everyone work together and solve the underlying problem. That's all I have to say to you. Does she dislike me? No, that's pretty much how she is with everyone. Hmm. Still, she sort of has a point. We really haven't been prepared for what we've been getting ourselves into, you know? Don't wait for tomorrow, you idiot! You should always be on your A-game! It is rather impressive, though, that you were able to return safely from an encounter with such a powerful enemy. The police showed up, just in time. Hmm. What do we do now, though? We can't let the Synthesters run wild just because one of them finally put up a decent fight, can we? Well, hey. Heroes always go up against tough bad guys. Don't matter where or when the story comes from, the hero always gets back to do a corner sooner or later. But then, between seasons one and two, he figures out some new kick-ass move, and then boom! The odds are even again. So now's the part where we suck it up. It's time for a serious training montage. That's all well and good, but training? You got a better idea? There ain't no getting off of this train we're on till we get to the end of the line. Well, I do agree that increasing our attack strength is crucial. But we also need to come up with a viable plan. We need stats and strategy to win here. Mm -hmm. Don't let me interrupt. This conversation is fascinating. All this talk of training is so delightfully anachronistic that I couldn't help but overhear. It practically resonated through the streets. Ah, Miss President, welcome. President, who is this lady? She looks expensive. Oh, yeah. Guess you ain't met her yet. She looks this is the lady who gave us that synthester finding app. Shion Kasugai, you may think of me as a woman of mystery come to give my support to the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Woman of mystery, huh? You come across more like a queen, like maybe an ice queen. Hmm? What was that? N nothing. He said nothing. I'm Yuto Tachibana, and this man, who simply does not know when to keep his mouth shut, is my brother Kaito. It's a pleasure. 
A pleasure to meet you both as well. Now then, about this training, is there any way I might be of assistance? Hmm, I see, I see. So, to summarize, you're facing an extraordinarily dangerous foe, and you want to become as strong as possible in as short a time as possible. I love it, and it would be my pleasure to assist. In fact, the whole of Daishihan Pharmaceuticals is at your disposal. We're behind you 100%. You see, there are numerous secret drugs I've been meaning to test out, and this seems the perfect opportunity. I've been told none of them have any notable side effects, so fear not. You'll be right as rain. That sounds unbelievably shady. Um, may I say something? Sure. You're already stronger than a normal human being. But I don't think you've yet realized your true potential, so to speak. Your judgment is still untrained. As you continue fighting, however... I believe the circumstances of each battle will help you learn proper technique. So basically, he needs more XP. Learn how to fight against specific opponents in specific situations, right? And that brings us back to you, Pops. What kind of training did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking you could light yourselves on fire and run around, or stop an iron wrecking ball with your bodies. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure neither of those would end well. Yeah, I was thinking more like regular weights. Oh, or wall sitting for a whole day to work my leg muscles. What do you think? Which training method seems best to you? She's a coup. All right. I think that's a mistake, but whatever. Just remember, basic training could do you good, grow you some muscles, and some guts, too. My, my. I had my hopes up there for a moment, too. Well, if you should ever change your mind, say the word, won't you? Let's go to the battle arena. I have an idea. Knock him dead, kid. When you drank my blood, your body became stronger than that of an ordinary synthester. However, your mind did not follow suit. Your mental skill, your judgment in battle, is no greater than it was before. Imagine a champion's race car with a student driver behind the wheel. That's you as you are right now. So if you truly wish to become stronger, face me. Look for openings and exploit them. This is real combat. Do not hold back. Are you ready? Special attack unlocked. Although, we already had it to begin with, I've just not used it. Until now. Yes, that's it. Your timing is perfect. Also. Give me back my clothes! Now! And look away! Remember that timing in your forthcoming battles. Always keep an eye out for the perfect opening and you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> so, shall we put your new training to the test? I've got your back. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll now, do the special. Let's time. do this. Let's do it. Well done. Keep that up and you'll never lose to anyone. Prominence Laboratory. Some people are working on this year. <laughs> I told someone a whole other level entirely. Jeez. Someone's a bit extreme. We should save since I've not saved since starting the game, by the way. Save over my clear data, it's fine. Because when we do this route, we can just get the clear data back anyway. Hey, done with your training, huh? Up, up, up. Don't say nothing. Let me see that face of yours with the baby fat all chiseled off. Or pretty much exactly the same. Guess I should have figured. Anyway, the others are all out by the station. Group patrol, they said. Hurry and you can still catch up with them. Hey, you made it. We were just about to start looking for synthesters. If we see any suspicious people, we report to the others right away, yes? Almost presence has me worried, so I'd prefer anyone who spots a synthester not to pursue it very far. Of course. And if that Amo person happens to be nearby, the app should indicate as much. In fact, I imagine it'd react even more strongly. Um, just out of curiosity, you're the president of a huge company, right, Ms. Kasugai? Because lately, it seems like you're always hanging out with us. Don't you, I don't know, have work to do? Isn't that what being a president's all about? Just kicking up your feet on your giant desk and letting other people do all the work? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'd say I do a bit more than that. Why, only six hours ago, I was at a business conference in Sydney. I'd say I've been rather busy, wouldn't you agree? Whoa! You serious? I simply spare more time for the Synthester matter than I do for other projects. I happen to see more value in it. <laughs> Ma'am must learn to show greater discretion, however. We're already receiving numerous complaints from every department. Huh? Who's that? Ah, he's our managing director, Koma Sakaguchi, a man who's been vigorously targeting my seat for quite some time now. I've been doing no such thing. I've come to bring you back to the office. Your next conference is scheduled to start any minute now. Honestly, how can you continue to play innocent when your gallivanting has gone so far as to have a co-worker sent out to fetch you? I'm not playing at all. I am an entirely reasonable, thoroughly beautiful young woman, innocent as can be. <sighs> we have the car waiting, ma'am. We haven't the time for this. All right, all right, you've got me. No need to give me that look. Well, everyone, 
Best of luck to you on the hunt. If you'll excuse us. Back to work she goes. And off she goes. Working under a flighty president like that? I'm surprised he can even get up in the morning. Anyway, we should get started. If anyone sees anything suspicious, be sure to contact the rest of us right away. Got it? All right. Kati, you're with me. Roger, Dodger! Hey, that training of yours? I hope it paid off. That's what I like to hear. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yuto and I will head toward the Electric Town exit. You and Shizuku hit up Junk Street again. Understood. This next battle will be ours. You can count on it. Let's head to our next location. Oh, is this one of these NPCs is bugging us. This place. We found it. Screw with me. Oh, this is a side mission we can do. We'll pull a few of these off whilst we're here. This place. We fight. Jesus. Here we go. What are you doing? I always get them a hundred. You can get them more, but... I just usually get a hundred. Oh, it's the expressive fan. Why don't you work instead of, like, begging? Screw with me! Yeah, 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 yeah
in the next area. We'll quickly do another side mission here. Mm. Just gotta find the NPC we need to speak to. <laughs> they usually have like a red box around their name. Basically, he was suckered into buying a piece of artwork that he didn't want to pay for and never got to go and get his money back for. It's our to-do list updated. This girl ain't right, what's this? Is this the delusional girl? I should know.
don't remember the directions very well in this area. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> okay, we're in, in the spot. Okay, go, go with the red dialogue box. Ah, there she is. Special attack, which would be really cool, actually. It's over. I was an only child, well. No question. They're synthesters. Let's take care of them before a crowd gathers. We fight. Let's do it. No word yet from the rest of the team, I take it. It seems Amo has yet to show himself then. I believe his claim was accurate. He is very distinctly separate from the other Synthesters. Our current training may not be enough to defeat him. Yet if we don't, peace will never return to Akiba. You are a mystery to me. You always keep your head held high. No matter how bleak the road ahead may look, if you can believe in a happy ending, then I will try my best to do the same. <gasps> Is that your cell phone? Hey, we're at the plaza north of the Electric Town exit. We saw some pretty shady looking people. They definitely fit the profile anyway. Get over here as soon as you can. The plaza? Come on, let's go.
Hey, over here, quick! It's them. The app has them all staticky, too, so they're definitely synthesters. I can confirm that as well. Be careful. Amo may not be far behind. You should leave now, Kaito. You don't have to tell me twice. Good luck. Let's go. We fight. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Don't let your guard down. These appear to be decoys? <laughs> your intuition is keen indeed. These poor souls are nothing but bait, and you are the catch. Zenya Amo. That little celebrity guest appearance saved you last time. <clears throat> Yeah, we get to fight but today again. you won't what, be so lucky. I'll reduce you both to ashes. So I was just checking my mic was working. <laughs> 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 Damn it. Don't you celebrate just yet, you worthless garbage. No one stands against me. I am the chosen one, the original Synthester. I am superior to my mass-produced progeny in every way. And you, woman, I can't stand the sight of you anymore. <laughs> hmm. Women, children, it makes no difference to me. My ambition is absolute. I crush all who stand in my way. What? I impossible. How can you even stand after taking that much damage? Unfortunately for you, he's my familiar. I shared my blood with him. The contract was sealed. He is one of the Night Eaters now. No. A Night Eater? You're... you're one of the Arbiters of Darkness? The same as him? But then why? Why interfere in our affairs? If you stand in his way, not even your bloodline will protect you. I've got your back. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
It doesn't make sense. I fought with all the power I had, and yet I was outmatched. No, I won't accept it. I can't. I can't possibly lose to such petty little fleas. Two mere children with no ideals, no ideology. Ugh, I'm not going to regenerate in time. Know this, you pathetic rodents. The next time we meet, I will tear you limb from limb. Do you hear me? Limb from limb! Yes, I'm fine. But thank you for asking. I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. Way to go, you two! You did it! Hopefully this should help quell the Synthester attacks for a while. Even if it doesn't, it's still one hurdle out of the way. That's gotta count for something. We should regroup at Mogra. There's much to discuss. Oh yeah, the email from uh, Celius Cuomo. It's kind of funny if you keep keep reading these. But the arcade. Oh yeah, Pitta. What's Pitta been doing? Talking about the old food market versus the new one. LOL, I'm not that old. People handing out flyers. Topic starting to even smell old. Well, guess we won, somehow or another. Yeah, that Amo bastard's run off with his tail between his now exposed legs. Hopefully that means the opposition will behave themselves, at least for a little while. Well, maybe, but it ain't like we took down all the synthesters there are. Gotta make sure we don't let our guards down just cause of one victory. Yes, that's right. We're not out of wood yet. I think you mean, out of the woods. Listen, could I have a moment? I have something I'd like to discuss with you. Preferably in private. Right, we have to go to the shrine. This place reminds me of home. Do you have... Anything you want to ask me? About any of this? There's no one else listening here, so I might be able to answer. Well, remember how after we escaped from the organization, I let you drink my blood? That's when it happened. You were 
entering into a blood contract with me. See, I'm not human. Throughout history, people have used many names to describe our kind. Goblins, phantoms, demons, even gods. But we're more properly known as Night Eaters. And if we Night Eaters willingly share the blood that flows within our veins, we can create minions for ourselves, known as familiars. Though, we can each take only one familiar in the course of our lives. The familiar's primary characteristic is to inherit the powers of the Night Eater, gaining strength far beyond that of an ordinary man. Much like the strength you've displayed in battle, I would say the vast majority of the power you've felt comes from me, in fact, not from your transformation into a Synthester. The Familiar's job is to hunt Synthesters alongside his Night Eater benefactor. And Synthesters were originally sad, pitiable shells of humans whose lust and greed had grown so enormous that it changed them into hideous beasts. They suck the life energy from others as fuel for the pursuit of their desires, knowing and fearing that oblivion awaits them if their greed should ever dry up. We Night Eaters are cut from the same cloth, so to speak, but the key difference is we retained our ability to reason, and somehow came to be revered, and feared, and worshipped. Over time, for each incident involving the Synthesters, there was always some question as to whether or not we Night Eaters were involved as well. And yet all we wish for is to live in peace and tranquility. That's why we hunt the Synthesters. We expose them to the purifying light of the sun, so that they may become human once more. Though whether or not that happens depends entirely on the person. And familiars are different. Familiars can never be human again, sunlight or no. At least, I've never heard of a way. Back when I made the blood contract with you, you were breaking down on a cellular level. I made you my familiar solely to save your life. But in doing so, I turned you into something... inhuman. I can never apologize enough for what I've done. There are other things we should discuss as well, I believe. It might be overwhelming if I were to reveal too much at once. I'd prefer to explain it all little by little. But I promise, your questions will be answered. I want you to know, however, that I do accept full responsibility for your condition, and that what I've done to you weighs on me very heavily. I am truly, deeply sorry. Come on. I'm sure the others must be worried about us by now. We should head back. I need yes, to must. tell them what I did to you as well. Hey, you're back. Took you long enough. Where were you two? We were getting worried. I'm sorry. It's just that... Wow, that's... heavy stuff. So you're... not human then, Shizuku? By appearances, you look like an ordinary cute girl. So that's how you were able to distinguish Synthesters from normal humans then? Well, I can tell Synthesters from normal humans, too, when I'm fighting them. I'm so sorry to have kept the truth from you all this time. You may pass judgment on me as you see fit. But for now, I'd ask that you please let me rest for a while. Hmm? Oh, sure. The upstairs room is all yours. Guess an awful lot's happened lately. You gotta be tired. If you'll excuse me, then. So? What are you gonna do? You gonna tell her it's okay, or... or not? Well, I suppose that is true. Come on now. This is serious stuff. Uh, oh, it's the sister. 
prototype, is it true? Are you not human? Have you been made into an inhuman monster? Uh, no, it's... I mean, it's not like he was really doing anything with his humanity before, you know? He is, as you said, not human. Or inhuman. Possibly superhuman. It's a bit unclear. Well, all right. I'm okay with this. He is who he is. I'm going to bed. That was fast. Uh. Hmm. More things change, the more they stay the same. We may know what Shizuku's deal is now, but what we gotta do ain't changed one bit. Crazy things are still going down in Akiba, and it's all on us to take care of them. You got that right. But we still don't have a firm grasp on what this organization even is. Nor do we have any real plan for quelling the attacks. Hey, hey, hey! You all need to light up before you walk out that door. Akiba Freedom Fighters have no room for the dark side. Maybe as we go, we can even find a way to change you back. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We need to keep our heads up higher than ever in times like this. Hey, why not? A forced smile's still a smile. All right, so let's all paste on some smiles and head out on patrol like usual. Your sense of timing for inappropriate interjections is kind of amazing, you know that? Anyway, let's go to Akihabara Park. Oh yeah, we have to change our clothing over. Just for this mission alone. Man, I don't really have a lot of variety in the way of now. On the plain t shirt. Yeah, we'll just wear the main character's default. Actually, it's an everyday jeans, not ordinary jeans. Oh no, you don't have to change, I guess. I thought they reversed it, it depended on the model, but I guess not.
wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about this little machine here. You need a lot of money to use it. I've never actually given money to it before. Huh. Just accidentally ah. triggered it. Yeah, raffle tickets. Not sure what you get for the raffle tickets, really. side mission which means now we can wear any kind of clothing I think you only have to do it once man sure is quiet here compared to Main Street hmm um so hey I just want you to know that even if you're not human anymore you're still the same boy I grew up with. We're still friends. Nothing's changed about that, and nothing ever will. So, you don't have to put up any walls or anything. In the end, you are who you are, and that's what really counts. Ah! <laughs> Sorry! <gasps> oh, it's Ren. Holy crap! It's Ren in the flesh! What are you doing in a place like this? Damn, they caught up. Over here, don't let her get away. Wh what the hell? What's going on? Why are you being chased? I could swear I've seen these guys in black before somewhere too. Hold up, aren't these the same Daishihan pharmaceutical goons who attacked you before? What, she's got backup? Fine, either way. Come on, Rin. Give us back the memory stick and no one gets hurt. We have you all surrounded. There's nowhere to run. Wait! How did we get caught up in this? These people have nothing to do with me. Maybe they don't, but that's irrelevant. If you cross us, you're not the only one who's gonna pay the price. Take a look around. You want these people to get hurt? It's hard to believe you'd stoop so low. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. What do we do? Yeah, yeah! All right, let's put these guys down! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Screw with me! Yeah. Do it! 
can't go to Wiggle. That's what I'm gonna do. stuff just by doing that. <laughs> we... we got him! Weren't you the one I saw with Shizuku before? <laughs> Nobody asked you to come to my rescue, you know. Wow! What a bitchy thing to say! Uh, well... You did save me from those guys. I appreciate it. Thanks. Aw, oh, how cute. She's trying her hardest to be nice now that I called her out. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm never nice. Lol. I mean, yeah, I do appreciate what you just did for me, but I don't want you to ever do it again. Just keep your nose out of this whole Synthester business. And that's not a friendly tip. It's a warning. Seriously? What's it to you if we are involved? You don't own us. Besides, you're the one who led those guys right into our laps. Why were they chasing you anyway? Not your business. Though, I do have one more thing to say, and this is a tip. That CEO from Daishi Han Pharmaceuticals you've been seeing? I wouldn't turn my back on her if I were you. Huh? You mean Ms. Kasugai? There you go. One tip, one warning. Make sure you take it all to heart. Hmm. And she's gone. What the hell was that all about, I wonder? I mean, she works for Daishi Han, doesn't she? She's like their poster girl. So why would Daishi Han thugs be chasing her down? Do you just have, like, a stomach for a brain now? Anyway, it seems like Rin knows Shizuku too, so... Hmm, I guess the game's afoot. We've... Definitely got plenty to report this time around, so we should get back to Mogra on the double. Oh yeah, we've got a couple of emails and... Oh, that's nice of her to say so. Cosplay festival that's going to be coming up in the moment. We're actually going to be taking part in that. Closes Fred, reopens Fred.
Right, let's head to the next uh, location. We've got to go back to Logo and report. You saw Rin being chased by Daishihan flunkies? The hell's that about? That's what we'd like to know. I mean, there has to be a damn good story there. Also, it seems like Rin knows Shizuku. That's... Yes, yes! Enough moping! It's time for a big announcement! Here, you take it too, Shizuku. Please look at these pamphlets, everyone! Akiba Cosplay Fest? I don't understand. Fest? As in festival! There's a big cosplay contest, and everybody is welcome to enter! I understand the concept, but what about it? This year, Akiba Freedom Fighters will transform into Akiba Squad Strip Prism! To put it another way, I signed us up to cosplay SP characters. There are three magical girls in the SP squad, you see. Pink, yellow, and blue. I am dressing as Pinkrism, the pink one. And Toko will be Amberism, the yellow one. Wait, Kati, what are you talking about? I, I never agreed to this. And I would like for the honor of playing the blue magical girl, Saffrism, to fall on you, Shizuku! <laughs> what? I... What? There's no way I can do this. I don't know the first thing about striprism. No worries. We can appreciate all 47 episodes of it right now. Oh, I couldn't help it eavesdrop. We should use this Blu-ray box that I just so happen to have in my hands at this very moment. <laughs> yes! Very nice, little sister. Now we have everything we need. Do I really need to reiterate that I never agreed to this? Oh, hey, I know. If our resident little sister is so into the show, why doesn't she do it instead? I can't. It's physically impossible for me to walk around in public shamelessly pretending to be an anime character. I feel. Now, now, don't be like that. Let's all try our best to win the competition. Do my objections mean nothing to you? So, I suppose I'm doing this then. And so, let the strict prism screening begin. So cool. Even though I've already watched the entire series over a hundred times. <laughs> uh, how did I let myself get roped into this? Surely you must know all about SP, right? Oh, that's okay. We all pretend the last episode never happened. Now, may I preamble? This is the story of three magical girls who protect the peace of Akiba. Their names are Suzu Toen, Toka Kisumi, and Lily Omi. The show's broadcast stopped three years ago, but there are still many fans today. Please, pay special attention to the outfit changes. Depending on the outfits they're given, each of the girls is able to utilize different powers. A picture is worth a thousand blurbs. You'll understand when you see it. So let's cut the chatter and enjoy the show. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and that's the end of episode one. So what did you think? Isn't it super duper? It's not bad. But what the hell is the Akiba Fairy Chiodon supposed to be? That's the plushie I always carry around with me. It kind of has the same face as Brotosaurus. Fairies are a type of earth spirit, I presume? In this story, Chiodon is a guardian deity of Akiba. Now settle down. Let's continue watching.
Wow, can't believe it took ten episodes before the three of them joined forces. That's a lot slower than I expected. It's an interesting approach, though. Huh? Didn't quite catch that. N never mind. It wasn't important. Whew, 24 episodes. We've made it to the halfway point. I'd say this calls for a break, wouldn't you? No, no, no! We must keep this tension building all the way to the last episode! I'm fine to keep watching. Don't think. Just feel. Uh, all right. You win. I'll keep going. It's... it's over. After 18 long hours, it's over. <laughs> Whoa, Shizuku, are you seriously crying? No matter how many times I watch, SP is still a super great show. Except for the last episode. The way the SP girls live their lives, it deeply moved me. Except for the last episode. I can't imagine watching this and not crying. Except during the last episode. Kati, do you think I can pull it off? Do you think I can be the cute, precocious, penny-pinching blue defender Lily Omi, a.k.a. Saffrism? I think the role will be in good hands with you, Shizuku. Then I'll do it. I'll do the Saffrism cosplay. Shizuku, are you feeling okay? Your whole character seems to have changed. Oh, fine, fine. I might as well join you guys too. You need an Ambrism, I'll be your damned Ambrism. All right, with that settled, let's get your cosplay started. Each of you write down your measurements and discreetly submit them to me. We're counting on you, little sister. We are the unbreakable wall that keeps Akiba safe from harm. We are Akiba Squad Stripperism. Now we three have come together at last. We shall claim our rightful stardom at the Cosplay Fest. Hey, sorry to bust in on you when you seem to be having such a ball. But is anybody here free to do me a solid? Got something I want delivered to a friend of mine who runs a shop on Junk Street. It's this here legendary arcade board, Black Panther. It was hell tracking this thing down. But the guy who runs that shop is on the executive committee for the cosplay fest. And he's willing to waive the entry fee in exchange for this priceless piece of game in history he's been searching for his whole life. So yeah, you should get going. So yeah, at this point we're gonna jump on over the junk street. Although, that is gonna be in the next part, because we've come quite a way, but we've still got more to go for the sheets of the route. For the time being, I'm gonna save here for now. This is getting pretty late, and there's still a lot more to go in terms of the story. But it's fine. I'm happy uh, leaving it just here. Right, let's save. Yeah, deliver the goods. That's what I'm going to be doing next time around when I actually stream again. And we'll do some more, uh, more of the story and get closer to finishing the Shizuku route. Time, I'm gonna quickly go back to the title screen. Uh, I forgot about that on the menu. So I don't want that playing all the way through. <laughs> I'll keep it on the options menu here. 
as my uh, little marker, quote unquote, to uh, to close it out, as it were. Right, that's going to be it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, be catching you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.